Yo, what's up guys and welcome back. Oh, it's good to be back in the office. I was on a long trip to Germany recently and I'm really glad to be home and really excited today to share with you a brand new puzzle that I've been waiting for. But before I do that, I just wanna thank everybody for entering the contest last week. So many, so many entries. Obviously not everybody can win, but I have posted the winners below. If you have won, chances are you were sent an email already. And for those of you who participated but didn't win and are a little bit sad, I'm also running a giveaway right now on my Instagram we're giving away two gift certificates for $500 to two people. Details on this picture on my Instagram, so go check it out if you're interested. All right, guys, today I, it is my pleasure to bring you a very, very rare puzzle and a very extremely difficult puzzle. This is known as the Revenge Lock or the Traveler Lock puzzle. This is a level 10 puzzle manufactured by Will Strebos once again, or made by Will Strebos. He was also the one who did the Lotus puzzle on the last video, if you guys remember that. So we know we're in for a few surprises and probably a lot of frustration with this particular puzzle. The craftsmanship again is stellar. It is all made of metal, very heavy, and a lot of parts. Without further ado, let's get into solving the revenge lock puzzle. Let's go. Ooh, look at this baby. This is a nice lock. It feels like a real lock. None of that wood stuff you can just pop open. Before we get into this lock, it came with this little letter and this letter reads as follows. One, discover your number. No idea what that means. Two, open the shackle. Three, remove the brass key. Four, find the tiny wanderer. The second part, replace the wonder, wanderer, brass key and shackle, put the lock back in the frame, fix the lock into frame. I'm guessing that this is the frame and that's the lock. So we gotta pop this. So what the hell does this mean? Discover your number. By the way, I cracked my phone on my recent trip to Germany. I got a cracked phone here. So let's see if there's any moving parts here. So this seems to go down a little bit when I push on it. I'm not sure why. It does not seem to rotate. There are these pin pricks, these little pins that go all the way through. And there's a little hole here where you can see some type of mechanism. Okay, it feels like, look, it feels like it's getting loose when I push it down. See that? Like it loosens up. Oh, oh, that just popped out. Let's go. And bam, okay. So there's a little spring inside here, encased right here. Look at the Look at the work on this. That is just great. Okay, so that is the frame. And now this part. Oh, okay. So we have more, more details here. We've got a few holes. Why does it say discover your number? Discover your number, open the shackle. Discover your number. What does that even mean? There also seems to be like a fine pin right there. You see that little pin? Discover your number. See these two pins, I thought they might be able to fit in here, but that's a no-go. And there's also this extra hole, and I don't know what that is. But it seems like you can see the mechanism through there. Discover. This is, seems to be uh, like little Allen key holes. Oh, okay. And on this side, you have like a brass pin there. That's this pin, which seems to be stuck inside. My guess, it's stuck by that. It feels like it seems to be like a little bar going through here. That's probably connected to that somehow. Discover your number. Oh, there you go. 249, no idea what that means, but I guess this is like a rarity number, I guess. Okay, so number discovered. We discovered the number, now we have to open the shackle. Okay, oh, did, did this just come out? What's happening? Things just keep happening. Okay, so that's there. Oh, and now it's stuck again. Seems to be something on the inside too. If I go here, maybe it can go through, no? Why won't that come out anymore? That was just out, it was just out now, just a second ago. I was literally just like, what did I do? I picked up the paper, and that's what I did. I picked up the paper and it was solved. I don't know what happened. One in doubt, spin. <laughs> that actually worked, okay. Maybe now I can push this thing down further. Oh, here we go. This is unscrewing as we speak. Oh, that is cool. Does this now come out? Hole in there now, and that's in there. And that just popped up. By pressing down on it, it just popped right up. And that is now, now this is locked into place. Um, that doesn't seem to want to fit in there. Eh. But why does this come undone? There has to be a reason for it. As I move this back and forth, there is a tiny, here you can see it here, a tiny little piece of metal structure that's in there. If I go like this, it goes out of the way. My first initial thought was to take this, which fits in here, and so now I can tilt it without it dropping down and that might loosen some other mechanism. Then again, then again, that does 
doesn't seem to work at all. The shackle did lift out of its place. I think that's that's a good sign. I do believe that has to go there to block it. Now it's not locking. It only, I think it only locks with that little pin. But that little moving part that bounces back and forth uh, seems to be like a magnet which locks this down because I can't open it. But if I, if you listen, the pin drops down here. And I was, oh, there he goes. So I still don't know what this is for. Again, I could see how someone would want to screw this in these little octagonal, are they octagons? I can't screw this in, like it's all crooked and weird and I, I don't want to damage the uh, threading on the inside of these little screws here. So that's definitely a no-go. I want to break it. <laughs> what if this goes back in here? It can't go back in there. Spring, any other clues? Maybe I got to put it in backwards. They purposely offset these holes so that you can't put it back in backwards. It can only go in this way. I'm trying everything here, guys. What would you do right now? Like, what would you do in this particular situation? Comment below, timestamp, and tell me what you would do in this situation before watching the rest of the video. Don't cheat. We don't want no cheaters. Is there a magnet in here? Maybe, wait, hold on, maybe this unscrews even further? No. One thing about these puzzles is always look at everything. That's like the biggest thing you have to remember is don't get caught up in the obvious. Look at everything. Look at every little piece, every word, every engraved thing, everything has a reason for it. Why would this come out? This being like a deadbolt here probably stops everything, probably needs to come out, but you probably only get that out if this comes out. Okay, I think that this needs to come out of here. Now this isn't opening anymore. There are little notches on this thing too. I don't know why. Latch won't open. And that goes back down. Hold on. Did it break it? So, obviously a spinning thing allows that to go in and out. But now, I guess I gotta shake it up. Lock, this doesn't lock into place anymore. So the latch would lift up before, and now it doesn't. And part of that is because this is now loose, and that doesn't seem to want to lock in anymore. This needs to come up for this to come out. We know that, but now this isn't popping out anymore. Oh, now this is stuck here. Okay, now it's, now it's all the way. This doesn't make any sense. Why aren't you opening anymore? What's happening? There's also a pin here, and this pin holds these little notches. Now, I'm not sure why there's notches all around this thing and there's only one pin. Kind of, if I turn it, it kind of locks into there. I can pop it out and turn it, and then boom, now it locks in and it can't move. So this must be the brass key. Open the shackle, then remove the brass key. So the shackle needs to open before the brass key is removed. I just don't understand why before the shackle was opening and now it isn't. When that happened, this wasn't moving. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now, okay, boom. See, now the shackle's open, but this thing isn't moving. What? Shaky shake. That's the crux here, is that this only opens when this is down, and this only comes out when this is up, but this only comes up when this is down. That's a fun puzzle. I'm trying to turn those notches to figure out why this isn't opening anymore. I feel like it has to be a certain orientation of that key. There's like an obvious aha moment waiting for me, and that's, that's the fun with these puzzles when you really figure that aha moment out. Now I'm in this position again. The key is here and now it won't, it won't pop open again. Why does it stay up there like this? And now it's only halfway up. What? Before it would come all the way up and now it's only halfway up and now it's all the way. Locked. If I turn it, locked. Turn it back, unlocked. Okay. There is an orientation to this, which I've just figured out. If I push on this lock and lock it, I can open it by sliding that inner piece like this and now it opens. However, if I take this once it's in the lock position, turn it and lock it, now it will not unlock. So there is a specific orientation with this. Boom. There it is. Um, I'm going to make a little dot make a small dot just so I remember which right there just so I remember which end needs to go in for the orientation I thought maybe if I push this down while in the lock position then turn it I'll be able to lift both kind of like if I do this and then turn it back 
that doesn't help. And this is locked here. Yeah, like it won't go further up unless, oop, unless I spin it. Now it will. This darn thing. Also, what the hell is the Wanderer? Just thought about that. There's, I gotta remove and then I gotta find the tiny Wanderer. There's a little man in here, I think. The other thing that I've noticed with this is that in this position, oops, let's get it locked in there. Here, there, see? Now it's locked for some reason. It won't go down further. See, now it's even lower and it's locked there. So maybe there are stages to this. Maybe I need to start here as I just twist this and pull it out a little bit like so. You can hear right there. There's some type of little bead in there. I think that bead needs to travel and I think I need to do that blindly. Oh, I just heard something lock into place right now. This piece also moves. There's another moving part in here. In these holes, you see that there are little bars and these bars shift back and forth depending on the orientation of this. Bam, bam diggity. Oh my God, I just figured that out. Okay, I'll let you know what I just figured out. I pushed it in, I was moving the bolt around and that bolt dropped down. I then locked it back into place, inverted it, so it couldn't be blocked anymore and that allowed me to now open it. Now I'm not all the way done. Boom. Ho 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 ho. Okay. And oh, oh geez. This little bearing fell out. Another spring here. And there we go. Where's the tiny wanderer? It doesn't seem to be in there. Okay. Knowing from the other lock puzzles I've done, I'm trying to unscrew everything. Well, okay, we're this far. And now I can see how the inner mechanics work, which is really cool. As I said, those little bars shift back and forth within this. I'm guessing this is the brass key. So remove the brass key. Find the tiny wanderer. Hiding somewhere. Where's the tiny wanderer? Mine's missing a tiny wanderer. Where, <laughs> and why did this come undone? Is this the tiny wanderer? This little, this little bolt, there's no seams. Is this the tiny wanderer? I'm confused. Is that what wanders throughout this thing and that's what I had to remove? I guess so. So I guess that was it. I guess this was the tiny wanderer. A little disappointed that it doesn't have, it should have like a little clue saying, yes, this is the wanderer. So I'm guessing that these things here are simply put there so that, uh, because there are matching notches that match up with those rods that are on the inside here. And I guess that because this is one solid piece, you can't get in there and drill. So he had to drill through and then put these as stoppers. That is the tiny wanderer. I wish the tiny wanderer was a little person, not just a little piece of metal, everything else. So these are all the pieces in this puzzle. As difficult as this was to take apart, uh, probably gonna be as difficult, if not more, to put together. So start it up. Holes are free, the pin is up, three hours of trying to put it back together, one hour to take it apart. And there we go. <sighs> this is now locked and this is and was the revenge lock. The hardest lock puzzle probably I've ever had to do. Hope you enjoyed. All right, guys, that is it. Oh my God, I'm so tired. Uh, um, getting to the end was very, very tricky because you could not just reverse engineer it. And plus you're working blind. So a lot of the times you're fiddling around with these things and, and listening for the clinks and clunks and the orientation of the lock itself. 
and it got very, very complicated. I'm extremely tired, saturated. My mind is just bleh right now. Uh, but I, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to open this lock puzzle. Now it goes on my shelf where I will never again touch it for as long as I live. <laughs> if you guys did enjoy this video, uh, go ahead and like this video. It really helps out. Subscribe if you're new here, hit the notification bell, and stay tuned for a few more puzzles that I've got lined up in the next couple weeks. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace, rock.